The Pucky Puppy Boxer. Quick look at what's in the box. Looks like it's packed nice and well. Chop this open. And look at that banana yellow. Get it unpacked. Our accessories. We'll go ahead and put those aside for now. Let's pull the bike out and then get rid of the box. Okay, let's lose some of these zip ties. That's a big one. This seat feels super comfortable. There's a lot of black wires. Make sure you're not cutting any. Hello, yellow. That should free up the tire. So what a great look with the black spokes and the black rim on these black cat tires. 180 millimeter rotors. Shimano thumb shifter. Some uh, seriously straight handlebars working here. Let's pick up this mess and assemble this puppy. Let's take a look at what comes in the accessory kit. Nice complete set of Allen wrenches. Owner's manual. Bike pump. Front headlight with reflector. Pedals left and right. I think this is the first time I've ever seen touch-up paint come with an e-bike. Couple twist ties. Heavy duty, nice actual reusable wrenches. And uh, some spare parts along with an extra pair of brake pads. Couple more twist ties. Last but not least, our charger with cord. And this is everything that came in the box. Let's go ahead and get started on the assembly. So I always like to start with the handlebars first. You wanna make sure that your stem is facing this direction. If it's not, you're gonna to wanna to loosen up these two screws and uh, turn it facing forward as you see it here. We're gonna go ahead and remove these four screws off the stem so we can put our handlebars on. Doesn't hurt to have an electric screwdriver to remove some of the screws. And you'll see it's gonna go ahead and just fall right off, just like that. The next thing we're gonna do is grab our handlebars and uh, make sure that they're not tangled up. You're gonna see the Shimano thumb shifter on the right-hand side. You can see the little crosshair in the center. And we'll go ahead and get our screws started here by hand if we can at first. Anytime you're tightening the stem cover down to the handlebars, you always wanna go crisscross. So from like top left to bottom right, top right to bottom left. This ensures you don't tighten the handlebars down unevenly. You wanna make sure your handlebars are nice and centered up and then go ahead and tighten them down. Sometimes when tightening the stem down, you really gotta make sure that Allen wrench is seated really well so that it gives you the ability to tighten it down nice and tight. Let's go ahead and install the display screen. And we'll go ahead and unscrew the side as well. Drop them on just like this. And now we can tighten them back down. So we have our screw in here. And our nuts on the back side, we'll hold them in. We'll push it together. My hand's kind of in the way, but the nut's back here. And we're tightening it down. Just like that. Okay, now let's flip the bike over and install the front tire. This was just put on the fork to keep it protected during shipment. So that's garbage. The first thing we're gonna do is pull this spacer out. Once that spacer is removed, you wanna make sure you don't press down on that front brake because you don't want those pistons to come together. That spacer kept them apart. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the hardware off both sides of the axle. It just makes it easier to put them on. Let's go ahead and install the front tire. We're just gonna take our tire, lift it up, we want the rotor to drop right between the brake pads and make sure the axle is resting on the fork, just like that. That's perfect. We'll reinstall the hardware. So the first thing we're gonna do is take our safety washer and make sure that it's going right into that hole. And then we're going to take our washer 
and our nut. And we're gonna go ahead and screw those right down. We're gonna do the same on the other side. So our safety washer, washer, and nut. I'm gonna get that cap off the end so I can tighten that nut down nice and tight. Take our supplied wrenches and start tightening both sides down. Little scrape, but that's an easy fix. We're gonna assemble the kickstand just like this. We're gonna take the hardware out of the baggie that has four screws and four lock washers. So we'll put a lock washer on each screw. Looks like there's Loctite on here, that's nice. Kickstands seem to work their way loose sometimes. So we'll go ahead and get them started by hand here. You can pull the kickstand back. It looks like they had it nice and greased up as well here. Watch out you don't get that grease on your rotors because that will make them squeak. And make sure your kickstand is nice and snug, just like that. Let's go ahead and install the pedals left and right. You always want to make sure you're putting the left pedal on the left side and the right pedal on the right side. You don't want to cross thread them. Looks like they have some grease on there, which is nice. So I like to tighten the pedal down by hand. This just ensures that it's not cross threaded when you're putting it on. Let's go ahead and tighten it down. And then you want to make sure it's nice and snug. Let's go ahead and do the other side. And then make sure you got it nice and snug. Let's go ahead and flip the bike right side up and assemble our headlight. Assembling the integrated front headlight with reflector. It's gonna go on just like this. Go ahead and remove that screw. Put our screw in and uh, tighten it down. Tighten it down snug, but not too tight. You don't wanna break it. We want to attach the wire to the light. So we're gonna line up the yellow to the yellow and uh, snap it in place. So it's really easy to assemble the seat. You want to make sure that you go to the right height, slide the seat post into the frame, and then you're going to go ahead and close the quick release clamp just like that. If you need to tighten it up a little bit while it's open, you go ahead and tighten it right here and then close it again. Simple as that. Don't forget your keys are on the front of the handlebars here, along with this little rubber piece that goes right here. Slides right in here. Nice finishing touch. There you have it. Okay, that's gonna do it for the assembly video of the Pucky Puppy Boxer e-bike. Make sure you look over the entire bike and tighten down every nut, bolt, and screw. Even if it wasn't part of the assembly, you want to make sure that you're riding safe. Keep a lookout for our test ride and review video that will be coming up soon. And like always, ride safe, have fun, see ya!